Hey, this is a quick look at Playtime, uh, the new Reaper-specific plugin that sort of emulates a Ableton type clip launcher workflow for Reaper. And a bunch of people are really stoked on that because you can't do that without it natively in Reaper. And someone just sort of went for it and decided to build something, which is really cool. So it's made by Helgo Boss, and you can download it from his website. You can download a demo, and the full version's available for 20 euros. Some people might think that's a little expensive because Reaper's insanely cheap, but really when you account for like a person's time and making something that, I mean, this is pretty nice. Like, take a look at it. Um, you're not like paying, you know, you're just paying what the value of a person's time is and obviously this person deserves that because they put a lot of work into this so now is the time to do that and it's like if people want to see this develop it's under active development so now is the time to sort of get in there and help the project get off its feet and make it something that uh, can really be of benefit to a lot of people so basically we're just going to cover the basics here what you can do is you can take clips from reaper and you import them into playtime and then they play as loops so say for example i don't even know what this is it's a drum beat obviously that's what it says okay and even that's a bit long i'm gonna copy that and paste that let's just go like that that's a drum beat too but you notice you can drag and drop that stuff i'm gonna glue that and now that we have that there we go fill with selective item can i convert that to a loop and now when we play it now you see that come up and now obviously as you might see it's a little bit awkward kind of how it's working it's still under development so that's like i say why well, it's time to get in there but you know it takes a little bit of getting used to what what it's doing with the clips and and where it's placing them and stuff but uh basically for now what's happening is when you hit playtime when you play from playtime it goes to the end of the project and starts playing your stuff so we got something like that and this is other stuff i've made oh i don't know why that's playing why that's not playing we have something soloed we're soloed there we go Okay, and there's your parts. Um, and then I think I have another synth part set up just to import. Which one were you? This one. Okay, so this is a bass line. So that one sounds good. So we're going to import it here. Oh, let's throw that here. Why is that icon there? And we'll go like that. Fill a selected loop, clip, or whatever. Convert to loop. Now, you can start everything at once. I'll do that, but I just want to hear it by itself. Two, three, four. Oh, did we forget to convert that to a loop? Nope, should have been fine. And then, yeah, basically, you can have whole scenes. And you can play the whole scene. And that's the basics of it. You can uh, actually, you can edit the MIDI. You can double click on this stuff and it'll open the MIDI editor. And you know, there's a bunch of functionality in there that we have we're not gonna cover right now, but that's the basics of it. You could basically record something in Reaper, get it into here, and now uh, you can just launch things and you can have a bunch of clips and you can hear how they go, and then you can hit write and basically print it to the timeline as MIDI though, like not audio. It'll it doesn't render it, it just puts those those clips onto the timeline like Reaper would non-destructively. And yeah, so that's basically it. Like I said, help the dude out, check it out, download the demo, support the project now when it is crucial for something to develop. That's what I say.